Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at thehistoryproject.com, which is a great tool for creating multimedia timelines. Let's go ahead and get started here. And we'll log in. And you can log in using an email and a password that you set, but you can also use Google or Facebook to connect. So now we're going to sign in here and see my dashboard. Now this is a project that I previously worked on. Let's start a new one here. So let's create a new project. And we can just call this one a timeline of events in my life. Now, one of the things to note about the historyproject.com is that you can create just a memory section or a timeline of events. Let's go ahead here and add a description. And let's just call this one some random things in my life. And we'll save that. Now over here, we can go ahead and add an image. Now you can see I've previously uploaded some images and those are now a part of my historyproject.com account and I can reuse them over and over again or I can go in and I can upload more images from my desktop. So let's go in here. And we'll add that picture. And so there's my new little uh, cover image. Now let's go into the timeline mode. Let's add a new event. And we'll give this a title. We'll call it Trip to Sparwood, British Columbia. And I'll put in a date. Now you can see here we have 2009 to 2020 as a range of dates, but you can go backwards as far as you need. Now let's go ahead and choose a date here. So we'll say 2012. You can get as specific as you want and put a month and day. And then save that event. Now, from here you can add all kinds of information to the individual event. So over here we'll go ahead and edit this location. And we'll say Sparwood BC. There it is. And you'll notice it pulls in a little Google map. And I'll edit this description and say I visited Sparwood after competing in an adventure race. I stopped when I saw a giant truck. And we'll update that. And we'll update our map. Now we can add an image. And again, I'll just pull in this image that I had previously used. And we'll use that file. But the really neat thing about the history project is that you can actually record audio for every single event in your timeline. And this is why I described it earlier this week as a bit of StoryCore meets a timeline tool. So let's go ahead and record. So I'll add my little voice note. And I'll just say, I stopped in Sparwood, British Columbia after competing in an adventure race in a nearby town. And I wasn't planning to stop there, but I saw a giant truck as I was driving and I just knew I had to get a picture of it. And now we can save that audio. 
I'm going to say talking about Sparwood. And we'll save that voice note. And it now becomes a part of the event on the timeline. Now you can add as many events as you would like to your timeline. And you can also collaborate with others to have them contribute to your timeline as well. So to do that, let's go ahead now and in the upper right corner, we'll say invite collaborators. And you can add someone by email. You can even import your Gmail contacts if you like. And I might invite Max to work on this project with me. And I'll make him a contributor. We'll go ahead and send that invitation to Max. And now he'll be able to contribute content to add to the timeline. Now this timeline project is still not published. It is completely private until I decide to publish it. Let's go ahead and publish the project. And you can see here we have three choices. We can make it available to anybody on the web. We can make it password protected or we can leave it as just limited to myself and the people I've invited by email. I'll make this one password protected and we'll put in a password. for people to use. And we'll save that. But now if I want to change that, I can go in and I can say unpublish the project. And then I can publish it again. And I can change it to anyone. And you can see I can even make it open to anyone in the world to contribute to it. I'm going to leave that turned off however for now. Now let's see what my project looks like right now. Right now my project just has this one memory picture and my timeline is displayed like this with my one event that's on it. Now of course I can add as many events as I like and as you just saw you can invite contributors to work on the timeline with you. So that's a short overview of the historyproject.com. I think it's a fantastic tool for students to use to create multimedia timelines. And for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetech4teachers.com.